Welcome back. You're watching The Fight, and we are joined now by Don Bishop, the Associate Vice President for Undergraduate Enrollment here at the University of Notre Dame. Don, so great to be with you great. here today. And obviously, you've worked in higher education for a number of years, but I can imagine that these past two months have been very different for you. So in the process of having to adjust to admitting students during this, how much have you adjusted and made some changes? Right. Well, we had just finished admitting the class when the pandemic and I think the realization of it came across to all of us. So it, it did not affect selection, but it sure affected how the admitted students got to engage with us. And they weren't able to come visit. We weren't able to go out and visit. We couldn't even have our alumni gatherings. We have many of those all around the world. So it really required us to be innovative with technology. We did uh, webinars where we celebrated their admission. We had the chair of trustees, Jack Brennan, and also our trustee, Jimmy Dunn, tape videos, and those were performances that families got together and watched. We had our own students engaging them in a webinar, kind of a celebration. So we did everything that we could, and then we also did a lot of individual attention one-on-one -on -one as much as you can, and we've all learned the, the, the beauty of Zoom. Yes, yes. <laughs> so so we, we, we use Zoom a lot, uh, but bottom line is it was a highly energetic and we had to do more, uh, but not having them come to campus and we, we have a lot of fund uh, donors that have funded students to come visit campus that we couldn't do this year. And I think we lost some kids because they could not come and see Notre Dame. They mm -hmm. couldn't feel it. And uh, so we're looking forward to getting back to, to that type of recruitment. But also with the financial aid, just more students concerned about costs. Uh, and Notre Dame Father John came out with a blanket statement saying all students on need will continue to get what they need. And then it's amazing how many of us have need. It's not just for a small group of people. Over mm -hmm. half of our students get some form of aid. Sure. And we'll get into the financial yeah. aid aspect here. But what can you tell us about the profile of this class of 2024 yeah. that you had to go out and kind of meet them in a unique online way? Yeah. Uh, well, the good news is we're able to recruit them, get them to apply and admit it with all the interactions that we've had in the past. So uh, it is, again, and we've said this every year, it's a stronger class. It is a more international class. It is a more nationally distributed class. I think Notre Dame may have, among the American students that come to an American college, more diversity, geographic diversity, than any other college in America. We come from everywhere to come to the adventure here, and, and that's pretty cool. About 24% are from the east, 16% are from the south, so 40% from the eastern side, 32% from the midwest, about um, 20, about 18% from the West and 10% from abroad, uh, 63 countries, totally talented uh, kids. So we're pumped up about who we got. Now, Don, I know you get asked this question over and over again, but what are you looking for when it comes to admitting a student here at Notre Dame? Yeah, you know, we do webinars where thousands of people tune in and that's the question. Um, it's interesting. So Notre Dame, I think, is among the top 10, 15 colleges in America for just overall academic profile. And that's because of our faculty, but also it's because the students that come here want to be really smart, become more expert, but they want to use their intelligence and turn it into wisdom. And so I think one of the, the advantages that we have in our selection process is we don't select like the other top 10 universities or top 15. Uh, we don't use the numbers as much. You know, I was trained as an econometrician. I use numbers to prove that you should use numbers less. And I have the numbers to prove to you you should use the numbers <laughs> less. And, and we've done, I think, every year a better job of looking at the motivation of a student. Why were they successful? Not just how much success, but why were they successful? And what was their motivation? Do they learn from what they do, not just they can prove they can do? And then what are they going to do with it? What's the wisdom around their intellect? And how is their leadership, their service to others, their sense of caring and, and niceness 
Uh, all of that matters. And when we talk to big corporations and to top medical law schools, they're all hiring or admitting our students because of the Notre Dame brand. So in the selection, we protect that Notre Dame brand. We're looking for very bright students who are ambitious but humble. We're looking for students that look for meaning in things and purpose in their lives, not just for performance-based dominance. It really is a special place here, and the students mm -hmm. are such a big part of that. Now, you mentioned the need this year. The need is very great uh, for these incoming students. Now, we've been promoting the Student Emergency Relief Fund here. Uh, how and when will those dollars be used, Don? So they're, they're being used now. We're assuming they're coming. So we, we, we have absolutely taken a leap of faith, and we're making decisions already. The aid packages for the returning students, for the new students, uh, if you look at it, our students are expected to earn and contribute to their college uh, through their summer work. We expect students to earn about $10.3 million every summer and contribute that. Now, what's going to happen to them this year? We don't think it's likely that they will get the, the opportunities to earn. So we are already putting into packages, uh, working the assumption that uh, work will be very limited. So these are kids that were willing to make 10.3 million by working and give it to pay for their, their education or name. We're not sure how much of that they're gonna have. So we're stepping forward right now. And then with any additional dollars that come in, we can do less loan, more scholarship, but all of their financial aid uh, will be met. And families that haven't applied for aid in the past that need to now, we embrace them. Really remarkable. Just socially distancing, <laughs> embrace them. All right, Don. Well, thank you so much for sharing all of yeah. that information with us. We really appreciate it.